Hi everyone, so this is going to be my part two of Shoegaze, Twee, and Dream Pop. A um, couple things. Few on 7 inch. So, this is Sinon. This is called Let You Down, and it's got the B side of All We Gotta Do. And this is on Hungry Records. 7 inch there. So. Um, I actually got turned on to these guys uh, a few years ago. I was checking out a lot of stuff on Last FM, kind of, you know, seeing what else is out there. And I saw across them. This one for Senin is A Different Life. And this is the Limited to 507 inch on Hungry Records. And it's got a number 145. Out of 500, that's end numbered. Very cool song, both of them actually. Uh, moving along, this one is kind of more of a dream pop, I guess. They're called Blouse, and this is called Shadow, and the B side is Nights and Days. So, and it's kind of hard to see, but the cover's really. Um, Kind of this traditional shoegaze, kind of a blurred image of the band overlaying kind of another image, so very cool. This one um, is A Place to Bury Strangers, and that's the In Your Heart C or 7 inch single, so it's, it's signed to me by all three members in silver. And, this was actually from when I saw them open for the Big Pink. And uh, I think everybody was deaf after their set. Luckily I brought professional grade earplugs. So if you ever got seen A Place of Very Strangers, um, definitely bring earplugs. Very, very loud. Next one is one by The Pains of Being Pure at Heart. Um, this is from their latest album. This is a 7 inch for Belong. And it has the B side, I Want to Go All the Way. So, this one's a lot of fun. I think I got that one at Stinkweeds when I was out with Brett uh, months ago. This one is kind of fun. This is, um, Film School, on and on. And this is from 2005 from Beggar's Banquets. If you're a fan of this band, um, the guitar player I met um, about a month ago, um, he started a new band called Nightmare Air. I talked about them before. But he is the guitar player from that band, so if you're in the shoegaze, I would definitely check out Nightmare Air. This one, um, I got when I was out in LA seeing Paul Weller. Uh, I know it's not much to look at, it's a blank. But it has the barcode in the back, we all know what this is. If you're a fan of twee pop music, kind of the little brother of Shugay's white vinyl. This is Trembling Blue Star's Beautiful Blank, and it's got the radio edit, and then it's got Say Goodbye to the Sea Part 2, which is only on the 7 inch. There's actually a CD version of this with um, more tracks. This only has two, but the CD has a bit more. So definitely a huge fan of Trembling Blue Sides. If I could get everything for them on vinyl, I would. However, it's not a lot of it out there. So I've always shown a lot of stuff by Cranes. I know I had recently. This is actually the 7 inch for. Shining Road, which houses actually part one and two. I only have part one, so I don't have the part two of the seven inch, but if you're into them, um, you were into them. Like, Crane's fans are dedicated to the um, extreme. This is the seven inch box set for Duel. And this is supposed to house all three seven inches of Jewel, which again, you know, being cranes in this are kind of hard to find. This 
uh, has three different tracks. It's got Jewel, Seven Inch Mix, Clear, Ultra Slim Fast, and Leaper to Heaven Part 2. So, who knows, maybe they will come where I'll find the other parts to this. I know I've shown this one before, but I'm just kind of on a, a real cranes thing right now. This is their first EP from 1991. Um, Inescapable. There was actually a cassette called Fuse that came out way before this, but I would be quite lucky to have Fuse. But anyway, that's the 12 inch for Inescapable. And since we're on a crane's roll right now, this is Wings of Joy. This is their first album. In 1991, it came out after Inescapable. The first time I saw Cranes was for this album, and I was sold. I absolutely loved them. Uh, also, I'd been talking about some 4AD bands that were really cool. This is one. You can kind of see that on there. This is the Big Pink. And this is the Velvet single. It's got um, Velvet, Velvet Perversion, and then it's got These Arms of Mine, which is Otis Redding's song. Which is an absolutely great cover. When I saw them, they did uh, these arms of my Robbie first came to kind of a bit of a solo part in the the middle of their show, and he did that track on his own. So it was a very good day. This one, Cocky Twins. Since we're on the subject of 4AD, this is the Bluebell Knoll, and this has kind of got that little flap that opens on the front there. And uh, opens up into a gatefold. So, um, I've always loved the packaging for Cookie Glee. Hmm, excuse me. Cartier Twins, like the cover art, and you know, just that whole label, like I think I was talking about before, and every one of you that is into the 480 label would probably agree that, you know, the, the look and the sound of all the bands on 480 in the, in the 80s all the way through the 90s till almost present um, had that very particular sound that was unique to the label. It's almost like the label only looked for bands that had that sound. Uh, this next one is, I've always labeled their first stuff as shoegaze. Kind of a noise pop, but it's Silver Sun Pickups, the Carnivores. This is their first actual release. Produced by Tony Hoffer. He did this right after, I believe, he did Bell and Sebastian. And this is the first print which came with a 7 inch with the further two tracks Mercury and Table Scraps so those came with the 7 inch only on here um, one of their more recent days um, this was a record store day and this was actually late getting to the, the shop on Record Store, but this is Silver Sun Pickup Seasick. And it's got broken bottles, ribbons, and detours on the back. These were, I believe, limited to a thousand or a fifteen hundred or something like that, but... Um, they were late getting to the store. They actually got there two days after Record Store Day, and I walked in and uh, Lindsay at Sinkweed's was like, oh my god, you know, we still have, we just got these in, you know, she knows I'm a big fan, so I told her you didn't even think about it, it's grabbed one, and here we are. So, again, produced by, and mixed by, um, mixed by Tony Hoffer, again, and then Dave Cooley produced it, so, pretty cool. This next one is another band I'm kind of gearing up to see, because they're going to be playing here in a few weeks, and this is the first album for Beach House. Gatefold. So, I wanted to show these. I might have shown them before, but I was just kind of excited because I get to see them again for like the 50 zillionth time. And then this was their album just before that. Um, this is Beach House. It's 
title and it's got a picture of Alex and Victoria on the inside. So, very cool. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Hopefully I can get these signed um, to myself at the show. So, not as long as my last one, but a decent length probably. Um, so, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll be doing another one probably tomorrow for British Pop. I was thinking of a few records to show tonight, so um, hopefully you'll check that one out as well.